was just sitting here thinking about that I wanted to make a video. Actually, I was standing when I was thinking of it, but now I'm sitting and I'm driving. And then I was like, but I don't really know what I would talk about. And I was like, what better subject than President Donald Trump? So, yes, President Trump is amazing. I just want to tell the world that I love President Trump. He's awesome. I really love with um, what's happening in our country right now and what he's doing, like just standing and not putting up with foolishness, not playing games and just keeping it real, being real. Um, like he doesn't like fake people. He doesn't like not, he doesn't deal with fake people. He's like, come at me real or don't come at me at all. And I really love that about him. Like, I really love that about him. And so I'm just really happy with our president and all that's happening in our nation right now. And I just turned the wrong way because I was distracted with this video, but it's all good. Um, so yeah, like super happy. And I don't think I'm actually gonna post this because I didn't have my thoughts together. I just wanted to make a video that President Trump is amazing. I love our president. Like, like, like if we had like a real poll, like a real poll, like if everybody in the USA, maybe the world too, that'd be cool to have that poll. But for now, everybody in the United States of America, if we all, like, you know, if we had like a real legit poll, like I wonder what the approval rating, like it would be, I know it would be over 50. I know it would. Because too many people are waking up. Too many people are walking away. And um, they're done with the foolishness of the left. Like, it's just ridiculous. And so, I'm just excited. I'm just happy because, um, like, I'm so proud to be an American. I'm so, like, like, I'm Swedish too, but I'm half Swedish. Actually, I'm a little more than half Swedish because my mom's got a little Swedish in her. But... I am so happy to be and proud to be an American. And because of my Swedish um, people in Sweden, my Swedish people, and my dad from Sweden, I am like a little extra passionate, um, or that, that's probably what has stirred me the most, um, partially, uh, not the most. Abortions is the other thing. But um, like we can't let it happen over here. We gotta keep fighting and keep pressing in and uh, just not tolerating foolishness, not stop tolerating, tolerating darkness. And too many Christians have been compromising. Like it's really ridiculous. So many Christians, so many spirit filled, I don't even know, believers, Bible believing, like, you know, like, yeah, tongue talking Christians, um, vote for someone that's okay with killing babies like they vote against their beliefs they don't they, they say they stand and they don't compromise the word but they're compromising they're compromising like how can you not see it and so i don't get it like like the thing about um with race um you know the word says thou shalt have no uh, you shall have thou shalt thou shall have no other gods before me and um people are making their race a god the color of your skin a god above the word of God. Um, I don't get it. Uh, like you you would, you, like you will fight to the death for a black man just because he's black. I mean, forget about all the stuff that he did when he was in the White House. But if he was white, there's no way people, th this would not be happening. It wouldn't be like this if, that, if, 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 if Obama was white. It just wouldn't, like it just wouldn't. And so it's just crazy. It's just crazy how this uh, race thing is just really this, and I'm so happy, but you know what I'm happy about is that the the, the racist, um, you know, being accused of a racist or the, the racist thing, like it's losing its power. It's like lost its power. Like, who cares? Like, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. No, it's not okay to be a racist or whatever, you know, but I don't even need to go into, need to go into explaining all that. I'm just happy that people are like waking up and it's like, you calling me a racist can't scare me because that's what happened in Sweden and what's happened a lot in Europe 
is people are afraid to speak up because they're afraid they're going to be labeled a racist or called a racist. And so because, you know, whatever, everybody, if the people that are like for real woke, like really woke up, they know, um, they know exactly what I'm talking about. So anyway, I'm just happy that, uh, President Trump is in the White House and, and it's like, you know, it's just some tough things happening, but they're good. They need to happen. They, they're, they're, they need to happen. Sometimes kids need a whooping. I got a 19 and 20 year old and I can't whoop them anymore, but, um, Sometimes kids need a whooping. And so that's kind of what's happening right now. And I can't wait till everybody can get a hold of the revelation that being a victim is not a good thing. You know, like we've all been through stuff. We've all been through hell. In some form or another, you know, more than others, we've all been through some really tough, you know, we've always just all, all gone through it. It's just life. You go through tough things in life. Um, this uh, comparing, you know, like black people have had it worse off than white people. It's like, I'm done. I'm done with it all. But it was wrong, but let's stop comparing. Let's stop trying to make all white people pay for what a few did. And why are we not even acknowledging uh, the Africans that sold the Africans? Hello? They're the first people that sold them. So take some ownership, you know, in the black on black crimes. I'm so done with that. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with the narrative um, of the police uh, violence or whatever. Like, I'm done with that. I'm done with that. Let's talk about uh, black kids killing black kids. Um, let's talk about that because that's a lot worse. Like what just happened in Chicago. It's ridiculous. And I have someone personally when I was, when I was 18 that was murdered. And that's still like a tough thing for me that I just, man, it was so hard for me. Um, wrong place at the wrong time but it's just you know we've all gone through hell we've all gone through things so yeah I am at my destination and I am going to end this video that I don't know if I'm actually going to post because it's so like not put together because I had no clue what I really wanted to talk about other than I love our president love 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 him god bless you